Uh, just a little quick video, people, to show you is what I'm attempting to do. Um, I'm going to attempt to address these issues on, on this bonnet. First of all, it's had a repair before. Cut through there and repaired. Obviously, this is rotted out over the years. This is the biggest area of rot in it. I know it all looks terrible. I'm slowly now separating the inner panel from the outer panel. As you can tell, the repairs have happened prior. This is the other side, there and through there and there. So someone's attempted to weld this, and I'm going to attempt to show you the, the shoddy workmanship that they had inside. I'm trying to hold the bonnet up with one hand and work with the other one. But I'll come over to this side. You can see I'm slowly just cutting away all the welds they had. And hopefully I'll slide this panel out. With uh, great difficulty, I took the side support panels off, which obviously I'm going to make new ones. I've made a template of the left and right side and also a template of the front of this straight onto a piece of steel so there's no coming around. I'm using a Dremel to cut the inner, all the finer parts and of course I, I drilled out and <laughs> made big holes where all the rivets were which are really really not consistent. As I said these cars were hand put together or the panels were pressed out in a die and they were hand pressed together but this one has been repaired before and we're going to attempt to fix it. Failing that I'm going to buy a fiberglass bonnet because it's my car and I'm going to do what I want with it. All I want to do is, as I said is drive it so um, yeah that's what I'm going to do attempt to uh, fix this bonnet Successful or not, it'll go on until I get a fiberglass one. Oh no, it should be successful. It should be passable. And uh, yeah, so we're down to the um, last bit of uh, fix, I suppose, before I start ordering parts. But I did decide I'm going to get it sandblasted. Um, 21st of uh, Feb is the uh, closest date they could fit me in. And it's all the way up a hut, about 20 kilometres from, from here. To us, that's a long way out. Once you leave Wellington and head out that way, it's a long way out. Um, yeah, so the guys doing the job kindly offered me his trailer. Saved myself $200 there and back for a six-pack or two of beer. Or as they're commonly known in Australia, stubbies. Like their stubby shorts <laughs> they used to wear back in the uh, 80s, 90s. Uh, yeah, something like that. All right. Um, thanks for um, watching this little little piece, and I'll keep you updated.